I forgot my half and half. I got my milk. Let me shake it up a little because I have it. <laughs> Peace, love, and coffee. I got my big foot. Good morning. I could walk and meet Eva. Uh, today is Peggy Lipton's birthday. Martin Jackson, I picked him. Cameron Diaz, Timothy Bottom, Robert Crumb, fabulous cartoonist and uh, album cover artist in the 60s. I think he did Jan uh, Janis Joplin and uh, Grateful Dead and I don't know who else. And Shirley Booth, uh, who remembers her? Hazel, who remembers Hazel? I love that show. She had the answers to everything and she saved those kids hide that kid that boys hide every day um and it's also mary shelley's birthday she wrote frankenstein my most favorite favorite monster i love the book i love all the movies i don't know how many times i read the book and i try to catch every i'm gonna try to catch my favorite frankenstein movie is of course the bride of frankenstein where the monster tries to redeem himself somehow. He he becomes, I don't want to say human, because human isn't really um, all that good. He becomes, I'm going to say spiritual. I mean, I don't know whether, he, yeah, I mean, he's a monster. But he becomes, he has a conscience, you know? He becomes, um, he has empathy. I don't know, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> I love him. Uh, today is college colors, and that would be red. My granddaughter is an, an Oneonta, and they're red dragons. So I should have wore red. Oh, I should have wore my T-shirt. Um, Frankenstein Day, books and pop culture. Cabernet Sauvignon. Victims of enforced disappearance. Awareness. International safety. Whale Shark Day, Awareness, Conservation, Beach Day, Beach Day, a go-go. Uh, yeah, I should be at the beach. I should live on the beach. <laughs> uh, grief Awareness, Toasted Marshmallows, and Slinky Day. Now, uh, uh, my favorite, I'm going to go back to, oh, let me do this because I'm going to talk. My favorite Frankenstein. <laughs> Is of course Bella Lugosi. I love him. Not Bella Lugosi. <laughs> Ross Carl. He was he was Dracula. I mean, he did play Frankenstein once, but nobody beats Bella Lugosi for me. And I saw Robert De Niro's movie. You know what? I think Robert De Niro's movie might be closer to the book because that monster, you know, was a monster. He stayed a monster. Well. I, well, he tried to go away from, from, well, uh, you, if you don't see the poor, I mean, if you, if you get a chance, watch the movies, or I don't want to give it away, I mean, I think I did already, um, read the book. Uh, the, the, the Bride of Frankenstein, if it's an hour, it's a, it's a big deal, and the Frankenstein, of course, the original, though I liked it and everything, it's alive, it's alive, yeah, 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 but the Bride of Frankenstein, I fell in love with him. I fell in love with the monster. But I'm like that. I, I I don't know. You know, it's the underdog thing. It's that underdog thing in me. Um so what was I gonna say? Okay, Bella would go oh Peter Peter Joy played Young Frankenstein. <laughs> I love that movie. Too, but I think um, Madeline Kahn stole that, that movie. She was hilarious at the end with the monster. Because you never think about that. You know, like, oh, yeah, oh, maybe. <laughs> Christopher Lee. He played Dracula's, but I think he did play, a, 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 um, I mean, a, a low budget. Lower than Frank. You know what I mean? Low but Actually, Frankenstein, the music and everything... 
they put a lot of a lot of effort, a lot of work, a lot of thought into the Frankenstein movies with the Boris Karloff. The music and everything. Um Can you tell I like Frankenstein? <laughs> I love him. And um Robert De Niro, yeah, that one I think is closer to the book because what he does to Elizabeth, I mean, oh my God. See, in the movie, Elizabeth got spared, the one that I like, but in the, which I think is um, more to the book, Elizabeth is not spared. Uh, Dr. Frankenstein is not spared. He's going to get a broken heart. You broke my heart, I'm going to break your heart. If you get a chance to finish Frankenstein's Day, you know, give it a, give it a watch <laughs> or a read. And um, get something good to eat. It's Friday. I'm going to go see my mom and then go see uh, Ava. I'm looking forward to that. I have no lunch. Um, I'll think of something. And um, you're coming to happy hour with us. You know, and I'm thinking that with Frankenstein, I did love that book, but I also loved, when I was in Malta, my favorite class was English. And I remember three books Especially, I forget what year, if it was the first year in my senior year. Except, uh, junior year or, or senior year. Jane Eyre, I read that book a thousand times. And I watch every movie. Every movie. She, she's an orphan, she's a governess, then she meets Mr. Rochester, who has a big secret, and they fall in love. And they're almost they're this close to being married, and the secret is, oh my God. They do get together eventually, which is, I was so happy. But what she went through, this woman, and him too, you know, he, he had he had to live with that secret. It, it was not, and the, if you ever get to see Jane Eyre, get to see, there's a hundred movies, Jane Eyre. It's been overdone, done, done. And uh, Romeo and Juliet, there was the other book. My English teacher, she, because you read the English, Romeo and Julia, you don't know what the hell, you read the sentence, like, I don't know, what the hell did he say? She explained every word, and my, when I, see, I have the book, I wrote all over the book. I wrote on every single page. Romeo and Julia, love it. And then there's Milton's Paradise Lost. Oh my God. That movie was so violent and so, you know, God, the devil, the angel, I mean, the God with the, all the angels and how heaven disrupted and how, and God, and, and you know, and saying, not saying, Lucifer um, shook God's throne and said, I'd rather serve in, I'd rather rule in hell than serve in heaven. And God struck him down to earth. I mean, this, the teacher brought this whole book to life. And not. Uh, and the, the, he, Lucifer, he landed on earth or where in hell, I don't know where he landed. And I think he was like passed out like for 40 days because 40, 40 was a big number. It was a popular number. And when he woke up, Lucifer went like this, he, like he touched his face and he felt a scar. And the scar in the book, the parrot, was three miles deep. No, you don't. And a hundred miles long. And I was like, oh my God, this guy's big. You know, it's like they're, they're, that was a great book. But anyway, I want to get back to Frankenstein and I'm going to leave you have, get something good to eat. Have a, stay hydrated. And in Shelley's, Mary Shelley's words, the beginning is always today. That's from Frankenstein, her, her story, Frankenstein. The beginning is always today. I can see you at happy hour. <laughs>